World Championship Wrestling. We're in Canton, Ohio, and we'll see the World Tag Team Champions in action in just a moment. But right now, let's hear these pre-recorded comments from one of the leaders of the Horsemen, Ole Anderson. Steiners, look right here, because you're looking at the two guys who are going to take those belts from you. Every time something happens, you just luckily get out of it. You manage to take off, you manage to hang on to those belts. But you know me, you know the horseman, you know the wrecking crew. We never give up, and we're never going to give up until we finally have those belts and put them around these boys' waists. There's one other thing I want to make sure everybody knows about, and that is my other very good friend, Mr. Sting. Once again, you just don't listen. You don't get the picture, do you? You don't understand. You know, the world isn't all good. The world isn't all just happy, happy. Sometimes there's some dark things. Well, you're looking at the dark part of the world right now, the dark side. And Sting, once again, I'm advising you, retire. Take your crutch, put it up on the mantle, pictures, get out. If you don't, we're going to have to retire you. Ladies and gentlemen, team number one in the corner to my left, first from West Palm Beach, Florida, weighing 225 pounds, the Rose. Jerry Bubba Rose. His tag team partner from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, weighing 254 pounds, G.Q. Stratus. And ladies and gentlemen, their opponents from Detroit, Michigan, total combined weight, 525 pounds. They are the world tag team champions. Rick Steiner, Scott Steiner, the Steiner Brothers. Well, as the Steiners make their way to the ring, very interesting comments made by Ole Anderson, making it very clear that if Sting shows up at any World Championship Wrestling event, Sting is going to be in a lot of trouble. Well, I think that would be fairly obvious. I don't think Sting has any business showing up anywhere that the NWA is appearing. I don't think Sting should stick his nose in the Four Horsemen business again. And I think that Sting, as a matter of fact, has no business anywhere in professional wrestling anymore because he got hospitalized, and that should be the end of it if he's a smart guy. You know, some say that Sting may should consider retiring from the sport to not risk further injury to his knee because there is absolutely no guarantee that he's going to be back in action. And if he is, that he'll be at 100%. So maybe that's something that he should consider. But we'll talk about that as this hour progresses. We've got that special feature of him training. And you'll see just exactly his dedication and how hard he's training a little bit later here on World Championship Wrestling as Scotty Steiner arm drags GQ Stratus here on the program. I will agree with you as far as one thing, Jim. The horsemen mean business when they realized, they realized a while back that Ric Flair had two potential threats to the World Heavyweight Championship. One was Sting, the other Lex Luger. Well, Sting is down, Sting is out, and I don't think Sting will ever be back. Now that leaves Lex Luger for them to take care of, and if Luger's not careful, if he doesn't follow the example they set before, the same thing's gonna happen to him as happened to Sting. Well, that certainly could, uh, could take place, and the horsemen have been known throughout the years if they say something, then they do it. They don't make idle threats. They are uh, bona fide. I will tell you that. So, you know, for Sting's own uh, personal welfare, he might want to consider coming back. And that's, I never thought I'd hear myself say that, but really it's, it's that serious with uh, considering what Ole Anderson had to say. Scott Steiner with a nice wrist lock there. Back heel trip into an overhand wrist lock on GQ Stratus. We saw Doomer in the program. They won a chance at the Steiners. The Minnesota Wrecking Crew with Ole Anderson at ringside. They've got some rematches signed for these awesome World Tag Team Champions. Well, I think it's only a matter of time for the Steiners because with a team like Doom on their trail, along with Sugar Ray Long, with a team like the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, with Ole Anderson, the master of tag team wrestling, with him in their corner, it's only a matter of time before one of these teams catches up with the Steiners or maybe even the Midnight Express, if I could get a title match signed for them for the World Tag Team Championship. That match has never taken place, but we've got enough on our hands right now trying to get rid of these two punks, Z-Man and Flying Brian. The dog face Grimm and Rick Steiner, there's a good look at him. And Jerry Bubba Rose tagged in. Collar and elbow tie up, and the dog face with the knee lift right to the abdomen has him upside down. Oh, goodness, right into the corner. Upside down he goes, driving his opponent 
his stomach right into the top turnbuckle. And the crowd here in Canton, Ohio, they love what they're seeing here. Yeah, yeah these people would. If they were in Roman times, they definitely wouldn't be the Christians, I'll tell you that. They'd be the other side. Look at that! Scott Steiner, unbelievable! I guess you could say about Bubba Rose, a rose by any other name still stinks in this instance because he has just about had his petals plucked. Bubba Rose should have made the tag while he was in his corner there. Are you kidding, GQ Stratus? He didn't want to make that tag. Look at the look on his face. A lot of people have a look of uh, fright when they see the Steiners and, of course, when they see their names on the contract for the Steiners. So this is a way for Rose and GQ Strata to make a name for themselves, quite obviously. Yeah, and the, the obituary. Oh, 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 fell in the back suplex. And when he suplexes it, he plants it. Well, in that case, Stratus looks like a potted fur right now because he did get planted. The Steiners, they don't need somebody that's going to go out there and try to match them hold for hold. They need somebody with enough brawn to be able to stay with them. But more importantly, they need somebody that can outsmart them. That's the key to taking the Steiners out. That's why I think maybe Ole Anderson might have the biggest edge of anybody because he's a master of tag team wrestling. And he knows exactly how to take guys like this and outsmart them. Rick Steiner crouching Bubba Rose from behind and slamming him face first to the canvas. Vince, uh, our ace reporter, James E. Cornett, will conduct his first interview. It'll be with Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert here uh, right after the conclusion of this match and from the looks of uh, Bubba Rose, it may not be long. Yeah, it ain't going to be far off. But I'll tell you what is far out. Oh, in the Steiner line. That's a pulverizing move. Brother, he's going to have to pick his brains up out of the third row. I'll tell you what's far out. Eddie Gilbert, I'm going to be talking to him about his big main event against Samu today here on the program. Look at that. Tilt the world slam by Scotty Steiner. And the World Tag Team Champions, they know that they're being challenged by a lot of great teams, but they are showing here tonight that they are ready for anybody. They've never looked any more crisp. And we talk about the doom locking high impact wrestling. This move right here will give new meaning to that. Belly to belly suplex from the second turnbuckle. The dog face drops the elbow and the World Tag Team Well, as uh, James E. gets ready for his interview, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take another look at the closing moments of this. What a move. Belly to belly suplex right off the second turnbuckle. The Steiners ready for the wrecking crew, ready for doom or anyone. And now let's go to our own version of Jimmy Olsen, James E. Cornett. <laughs> 